Hello, Dorkwood here. I'm going to show you how to create a looping, seamless background similar to the clip that's playing right now. First up, let's create a 720 by 720 pixel canvas. Then we'll draw a background image from the left to the right edge of the screen. Remember, it will be 720 pixels wide. Make sure that the start position roughly lines up with the end position. You'll see why in a little bit. This will be our mountain. Now, using the selection tool, select the right side of the mountain. Double finger tap and bring up the floating tool thing and then hit copy. Then delete the selection. Create a blank sheet on a new layer, hit paste on the new sheet, and you should see the right side of the mountain pop up. Make sure that the left and the right sides of the mountain are on separate layers. Select the right side of the mountain again on its own layer and flip it horizontally using the flip tool. Now do the same thing with the left side of the mountain. Select it and flip it. Once you have both sides of the mountain flipped, select both the layers and hit merge. So we should end up with the complete mountain on one layer. You'll notice that the two halves don't quite line up. This is totally fine. All you need to do is fill in that little gap. Just make sure that the top of the mountain forms one continuous line. Now select the sheet and extend it for nine frames. Add a transformation layer and make sure it is parented to the mountain layer. Hit the keyframe tool and add a keyframe at frame one for position X. Scroll along and add another keyframe at frame 10. Select frame one again. We're going to scroll the mountain by negative 720 pixels. Remember the canvas is 720 pixels wide. So this will scroll the mountain just out of frame. The keyframe at frame 10 will still be set at zero. So when you scroll from frame one to frame 10, the mountain will move from left to right. Next up, duplicate the mountain along with its transformation layer. Open up the keyframe tool and, much like the previous step, add an X keyframe at frame 1 and another at frame 10. This time around though, select frame 10 and move it by positive 720 pixels. This will move the mountain off the screen to the right. Make sure you now have two separately transformed layers, one moving the mountain into the scene from the left and the other moving the mountain out of the scene to the right. Playing both of the layers at the same time, you should notice that they move as one continuous mountain. You have now created a looping mountain. Awesome! <coughs> but it's just a mountain, floating against a white backdrop. We need a blue sky. So add another layer, drag it under the mountain layer and fill it with blue. Make sure it's the same length as the mountain, that is, nine frames long. Ish. Boom! One times mountain. Create another layer, throw some rad clouds in there. Just keep going, just adding those clouds. You should end up with something a little like this. 
Maybe add some other stuff too. Dragons are pretty rad. Throw one of those in there. Maybe throw in another one. Two dragons is super rad. Of course, we'll need a unicorn in there too. I think this unicorn drinks tea. So obviously we're going to add a teacup over here. A flying teacup. We're having fun now. So, as you can see, we have a scrolling mountain from left to right. This should give the impression of movement from right to left. But we need a framing device, such as a window, to make it seem as if the viewer is actually looking at the scenery from a moving train. Let's add a new layer for the train window. Make sure the layer is above all the others, as it is in the foreground. Now add a blank sheet and draw a rectangle. Fill the outside of the rectangle, as this will be the train walls on either side of the window. Make sure that all the gaps and seams are filled in. Add some shine or texture to give the impression that this window is closed. Extend the window sheet to 9 frames to match the rest of the clips. You can now extend all the sheets to create a smoother animation. The more frames in an animation, the smoother it will be. So, let's select all the sheets, making sure to include the sheets under the transformation layers. You can drag them to around 60 frames or so, it's entirely up to you. Just make sure that you drag the transformation nodes to match the length of the extended sheets. You can now control the speed of the overall animation by setting the frames per second to around 30. The higher the frames per second, the quicker the animation will play. Right now, the animation will play for 2 seconds, which is 30 frames per second, for a total of 60 frames. You've now got the basics down. Brilliant! Now, just add the finer details to really make this thing pop. Have a look at my previous tutorial to see how that awesome snow is made. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions about this tutorial, or if you have any other ideas for tutorials that you would like me to cover, please feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you've got something from this video, I would love it if you liked and subscribed, it really helps me out a lot. Also, if you use any of these techniques in your animations, I would love to see them. Send me a link! Cheers!